in that really small miniature kitchen, it seems like it's a place where the entire world can fit in. So when you type in miniature food on YouTube, you get over 1.3 million results. And over 131,000 people have used the miniature food hashtag on Instagram. Hi, I'm Jay Barron, and I created Walking with Giants. I discovered miniature cooking about two years ago. I'm a filmmaker, and I wanted to create a series that everyone could enjoy. My name is Wendy City, and I discovered miniature cooking on YouTube in 2014. Japanese people started it with the videos, and they love things that are tiny. It's very kawaii. Around six months ago, we had a plan to start a regular cooking channel in YouTube, since my wife cooks so tasty. We changed the total concept into tiny food cooking in village background. Content creators all over the world are spending hours scaling down recipes and handcrafting the smallest kitchenware to make them. We actually were looking for tiny stoves. And we actually found some, but they weren't actual stoves, they were incense burners. So I got with my husband and I had an idea. I said, hey, let's create our own. That was a six months long work to build a kitchen and we made all the tools too. We carved the wooden spoon, we folded the cookie cutters from aluminum sheet and we burned some other tools from Fimo. I build about 80% of the props that I use, uh, including the sets. And a lot of people don't really think about it, but to build miniatures, it takes a lot of detail. Especially if you're filming miniatures, because you have to have them looking good from every single camera angle. So, personally, I have to know how to do everything from glass blowing, to doing metalworking, to doing woodworking. It's an extremely demanding type of craft. But their efforts aren't for nothing. By filming their processes start to finish, tiny food creators are raking up tens of thousands of views per post. Why? Well, the posts are a perfect mix of calming visuals and creativity. A viewer might think, wow, I wonder what the world's tiniest Thanksgiving dinner looks like. Or how do you even cook the world's smallest cup of noodles? Seeing something familiar in an unfamiliar environment is the perfect recipe for viewer satisfaction. Common questions I get is, is that food real? And I'm like, yeah, it's real. It's a tiny cooking show. It's, it's hilarious, it's weird, it's obnoxious, it's silly. And that's what it's meant to be. So, I mean, why would I use fake ingredients on something like that? Filming is probably the hardest part of being a tiny food creator. You have to watch every little move that you make because everything is so tiny. So my hands, sometimes they're constantly like shaking. Every single video that you craft is completely unique. So I have videos that take all the way from eight hours to 50 hours to make, not including prep times or editing. And that's mainly because I have to know how to do the lighting, I have to do the camera work, I have to build the props, I have to build the sets. It's kind of like having a miniature Hollywood sitting on your desk. Despite all their hard work to make their videos viral, a lot of tiny chefs actually want their identities kept secret. I choose to stay anonymous because I'd rather have the channel focus solely on the art. That's what makes these mini videos so appealing. When you see only hands against the tiny food and set, it's more enjoyable for the imagination. In that really small miniature kitchen, it seems like it's a place where the entire world can fit in. And that's how I feel about it. And I don't need to show my face to get that point across. For many of these creators, it goes beyond just making small food. It's about making a small universe. Keeping their faces out of the shots help to immerse their viewers into that tiny world. For that minute or 30 seconds or however long the video is, you're very involved in looking at someone handle these tiny things. I think they're very relaxing for you. To me, it is a world. It's, it's the mini-verse. It's a place where you can go and you can just be happy. Mm -hmm.